Um, hi, good morning, everybody. Um, so today I'm going to talk about SEAL, uh, Swift Intermediate Language. And then I know it's too early to talk about this topic, but it would be a nicer way to wake you up, I guess. <laughs> um, so let's get it started. Um, so hi, my name is Yusuke. Um, as Tim mentioned, I'm iOS engineer at Mercari, and then I'm just working on US product of Mercari. Um, so today, um, so I just started learning about Swift compiler itself since last year. So I'm just like still a beginner of Swift compiler. Um, but during my learning process, I thought it would be like worth sharing what I've learned so far um, for first time learners as well. Uh, so that's my talk today. Um, maybe first thing comes to your mind is that like why we need to learn SEAL. And then um, I think there are a few reasons. Um, so first one would be, like Swift is awesome. It has like so many features like protocols, generics, optionals, and so on. And like learning SEAL is a great approach to know how like Swift compiler works. And then also Swift type system as well. And then second one would be like, there are tons of like optimizations running in, the, in this phase. Um, so maybe like if you're curious about optimizations, um, this is the right spot. And finally, um, it's just so much fun to me. <laughs> um, I think that's enough like, to learn the basic stuff at the beginning. So it's about SEAL. It stands for Swift Intermediate Language. And that's uh, like language specific intermediate representation. So it's right before LLVM IR. And then this is only for Swift because it's language specific um, interpretation. And uh, Swift programming language runs on Swift compiler. And here's the pipeline of Swift compiler. So first it takes Swift source file and then it constructs AST and generates SEAL and lowers to LLVM IR and emits binary code. Um, this is like too heavy topic to cover during five minutes. So I'm gonna talk, uh, focus on CGN today. But what does it look like? Um, so let's take a look together. So this um, sample Swift file has a simple method which returns int value. Um, there is no like difficult things here. So we're gonna generate C file from that Swift file. And here's a Swift C command, which emits C file. So I just put like um, output option, option there. And then you get this. And you may see like unfamiliar attributes and functions at this time, but no need to uh, understand everything at, the, at this moment. It just like alloc stack and get integer retail struct and then store that value at the alloc and then that's it. So next, um, I want to focus on like how, what kind of optimizations running in it first. So let's generate another seal with optimization flag. So that's why I said O flag there. And this time you get this. So some of you may notice that um, the number of line is actually changed. Um, that's because um, optimization flag was set at this time. So this was the original suite file. It has a local variable which is like let, int, and then um, it just returns int value. But maybe it can be like this, because there is no like calculation and that local variable's value is never changed during, uh, in, 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 inside of this method. So why don't you just return int value instead? That's exactly the same thing happened in sale. So this is the diff between the one without optimization flag and then the one with optimization flag. Um, if you re remember everything, um, you saw the alloc stack and then store the alloc stack, but it's not needed because we can just return int value instead. So take a look again at the one with optimization flag. You just um, have integer retail there and then make it struct and then just return it. So that's like optimization magic in SEO. And I just introduced one of the example here, but there are tons of other optimizations running in this space. 
And there are also another like optimization flags available in Xcode, like all known or unchecked. And then new one came uh, will be coming from Swift 4.1 all sides as well. Um, it has slightly different behaviors. So here's my summary. Um, for me, um, or some of you may consider SEAL as something you can never understand because it looks like weird at the beginning. Um, but it's actually doable. It's somehow understandable. And then in my opinion, it's always nice to know how Swift compiler works as Swift developers. And sometimes it requires you to have like in-depth knowledge about compiler itself, and then it takes so much time to understand everything, what's going on in like Swift compiler, but it's actually fun. So if you're interested in SEAL, um, it's actually well documented in Swift repository, and then also Chris Ratna um, gave a talk about SEAL, uh, I mean, yeah, SEAL, um, at every me uh, developer meeting. 2015, um, so I highly really recommend to check this out. I really appreciate for giving me the opportunity to talk um, about SEAL today, and then thank you, for so, thank you so much for coming to my talk. If you have any questions, uh, maybe I will be around uh, Merukari sponsor booth, so just talk to me. Thank you so much. <laughs>